Hello everybody, it is Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail uh, completely free. Uh, don't have to download any programs, any editing software, nothing like that. So anyway, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to your default web browser. I know that's how most tutorial videos start. Go to Google, and the first thing you're going to want to do for your thumbnail is find a background. Now, I'm going to be the thumbnail I make in this video will be the thumbnail that I use uh, for the actual video. So I'm going to type in YouTube wallpaper. And you want it to have, I spelled YouTube wrong instead. You want it to have a relatively high uh, pixel. Uh, this one's cool. You're going to want to have a high pixel uh, dimension size because it's going to help with the uh, clearness of the thumbnail itself. So, Internet Explorer, blah, that's fine. Okay, so click on, uh, just get the video, or not the video, God, I'm not talk, can't talk right now. Yeah, so anyway, save the uh, the wallpaper to your desktop or wherever. There you go, it's saved. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website called flamingtext.com. I repeat, flaming as in fire, and then text as in texting someone.com. Uh, completely free website. It allows, what this website allows you to do is make fonts, um, you know, of tons of, I mean, makes, lets you create logos with tons of different fonts, uh, bazillions of colors and all that good stuff. But anyway, so I'm just going to scroll, as you can see, I'm just going, you know, scrolling through pages kind of fast trying to find the one that I like and they have tons of them I use all uh, let's see, wait. I use this for all my thumbnails and everything so just trying to find one I like or one I can use at least mm, alright here we go this is cool one. okay so there's a few things that you want to know uh, first your font size needs to be 99 or under and the reason why anything above it'll make you pay because it's like uh, premium thing if you have a font size above 99 so make your font size 99 and then you're gonna want to type in whatever the words are for your YouTube video so I'm gonna type in YouTube thumb so bad at typing thumb nail okay got it okay um, and I'm not gonna type in tutorial video just yet and I'll tell you why alright so for logo uh, you can change your colors you can change and all that good stuff. I don't really like to touch it. But anyway, for type of your background, you want your background to be transparent. And the reason why is so that when you put it on your picture, it there's not a giant color box around the words and it looks terrible. So there you go, transparent. And then you're just going to click create logo. And it's going to take you to do this. And you're going to want to click personal use. Commercial use makes you pay. Uh, so don't see it's 10 bucks for some reason. Alright. And then you're going to want to save it to your desktop. Call it whatever you want. Alright, now I'm going to type in tutorial video, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want my YouTube thumbnail font, or words, to be over my tutorial video. So you need to make two different uh, things for that. And I'll explain I'll explain later, just because I know you guys probably can't see what I'm trying to say. So create logo, you're doing the same thing as you did last time. If you get, you know, put as many different uh, words as you want in your thumbnail, it's not, it's not up to me. Download, save as, then to my desktop. Alright. There you go. So you're done with that. So now that I have my text for my thumbnail, what I'm going to be doing is going to a website called pick at p i c k monkey dot com. Pick monkey. I'll put these websites in the description in case you're like deaf or something. But anyway, uh, you're gonna go to edit your edit a photo right there. Now you're gonna want to pick the background picture that you got offline. So it's gonna be this one. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this box. It's annoying. All right. So now. Some important things you want to do here. You want to go to crop and you want to type in 1280 by 720. Now you don't have to do that, but that is the uh, dimension of a YouTube video or not a, a YouTube thumbnail, so it helps out with the resolution tons. All right, there you go. Now what you're gonna to want to do if you go five down and it's five down, four from the bottom. It's called overlays. It's a little tab. You want to click it. Now you want to insert your own overlay. You can add more pictures or you can add text. Uh, so we're going to be using the text that we made from the flamingtext.com website. Here we go. So now that I have my, we're almost done. Now that I have my two texts, I'm going to make them big. You want to make text pretty big because uh, it's a thumbnail, so it's a relatively small picture. You want to make sure people can uh, see what you're advertising. 
All right, there we go. YouTube thumbnail tutorial video. So that's I can add more uh, pictures. I can add more text. You can do whatever you want. You can change the background. All that good jazz. Completely free. Very simple to do. I don't know how long this video is, but I, you know, I could have made it a lot simpler if or in a lot shorter if I didn't elaborate as much. But anyway, and then all you gotta do is click save and um, type in YouTube thumbnail. Probably spelled something right. Nope, we're good. And then at the end of this, you actually need to type in dot uh, jpg. And the reason why is because it it like forces you to. I don't know. It's really weird. But anyway, uh, save it to your desktop, or I keep saying to save it wherever you want. Yep. Boom, there you go. Uh, it says Masterpiece Saved. Yay. And uh, then you just insert its, uh, you know, custom thumbnail feature, and that's all you got to do. I don't know that is super easy, super simple. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see how to record your desktop with Windows 8 uh, for free, let me know. Goodbye.